<laughs> Good morning. Come on, Good sis. Morning. It's 2.13 p.m. Come on. No, no, no. We're on lesson number 365. Is that right? <laughs> We've collapsed time. You're all done. <laughs> We've ascended. Uh, let's see. Lesson 98. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. Do you know you have a part in God's plan? Mm. Mm. Today, yeah, yeah. Today is a day of special dedication. We take a stand on but one side today. We side with truth and let illusions go. We will not vacillate between the two, but take a firm position with the one. Mm. We dedicate ourselves to truth today and to salvation as God planned it be. We will not argue it is something else. We will not seek for it where it is not. In gladness, we accept it as it is and take the part assigned to us by God. How happy to be certain. All our doubts we lay aside today and take our stand with certainty of purpose and with thanks that doubt is gone and surety has come. We have a mighty purpose to fulfill and have been given everything we need with which to reach the goal. Not one mistake stands in our way for we have been absolved of errors. All our sins are washed away by realizing they were but mistakes. Mm. The guiltless have no fear for they are safe and recognize their safety. They do not appeal to magic nor invent escapes from fancied threats without reality. They rest in quiet certainty that they will do what it is given them to do. They do not doubt their own ability because they know their function will be filled completely in the perfect time and place. They took the stand which we will take today that we may share their certainty and thus increase it by accepting it ourselves. I really love that paragraph. Mm. So they know their incorruptible innocence. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I was just about to say exactly what you said. They know it. They, they, you know, they have wholly accepted the truth of their being, that they are spirit, you know, and that, that of course, they cannot be threatened. We can't be threatened when we know our incorruptible innocence. It's impossible. It's only when we believe that we've sinned, that we're guilty, and therefore we expect punishment, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that is really good. And he says in paragraph two, he starts off by saying, how happy to be certain, exclamation mark. Right, right. All, and he says, all our doubts we lay aside today and take our stand with certainty of purpose and with thanks that doubt is gone and surety has come. We have a mighty purpose to fulfill and have been given everything we need with which to reach the goal. Not one mistake stands in our way, for we have been absolved from all errors, right? All our sins are washed away by realising that they were just mistakes. That's it. Okay. So to me, and sis, help me, please. Uh, hopefully I'm on the right track. But for me, that tells me that our salvation, let's talk about this. This is, this is big, right? Our salvation is given us in every single instant. Mm -hmm. So even if we've been tripped up or um, if we're in the midst of an ego backlash, perhaps maybe a very vicious ego backlash, uh, we, can, we can go to this place. We can in any instant mm, 
decide to join with Holy Spirit and observe what's happening. In other words, ask ourselves, mm -hmm. who is experiencing this? Is this the ego or is this me as God's child, God's beloved child? Which one is it? Right? That's right. And then right. if it's the ego, we can immediately forgive it because that's our purpose. That's where our certainty comes from. That's our right. certainty always comes from our desire for salvation, which means our desire to remember what our function is, our soul function, which is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness that we eat, that we that we fell for the temptation to believe that we're the ego and that we're suffering. Right? Yes. Thank you. That's where the certainty comes from. So in other words, very simply, where I'm at right now <laughs> is that I do desire to remember in every instant, especially when I'm tempted, I desire to recognize what this is for. Yeah. So if somebody triggers me, which is very rare, but um, if the body triggers me, yeah, I go, oh, I remember what this is for. Yes. This is for forgiveness. This is for me to accept the atonement, which is to accept that he's already healed it. Yeah. It's an opportunity, right? For, for yeah. every moment, like you said, it's an opportunity for salvation. It's just that you're at choice point when there's something there. It's, you know, in any moment we can forgive it. And the forgiveness is I mistakenly identified with this story. And if I'm spirit, which was the previous lesson, you know, that's not me. That isn't me. I have a choice to either identify with the, the mistaken belief or identify with the truth as God is telling me I am. And in that recognition of guiltlessness, I just love these promises. You know, you don't need to appeal to magic. There are no magical thoughts. You know that, you know, God is your life. You're sustained by the love of God that you get to rest in quiet certainty, that you move without any doubt because you know your ability comes from him, that everything is already arranged for you in the perfect time and perfect place. Mm. You know, that's just being lived by God. That's in the flow, I like to call it. And everything is miraculous and you can't suffer lack and there's no sacrifice in it, literally. So these are beautiful promises. I mean, statements of fact. This is how we are in our in our truth. When we're not sleeping, this is our reality. <laughs> and, and I think we, when I, when I'm talking about temptation of the ego, is when we really uh, fall into the trap of believing that um, we need to solve a problem. That there is a problem and right. it's real. Yes. And we need to solve that problem. Um, and, and a big thing is that we first want to understand the problem, mm -hmm. right? That's, yes. a, <laughs> that's yes. a big pothole to fall into um, because Jesus says there that there is no understanding in darkness. It's impossible. That's right. right? You can only understand in the light. Mm -hmm. That's Christ's vision. But how do we get to the light mm -hmm. through forgiveness? Yes. So it's not about solving and manipulating stuff at the effect level, you know, the body and relationships and stuff like that. It's actually about going, okay, I want to understand, but I recognize the ego can't understand. Mm -hmm. And instead I want to forgive. And it's in the forgiveness mm -hmm. that the dawning of understanding occurs. And we will be moved by Holy Spirit to do at the form level whatever we need to do. But it'll come from love. It won't come from confusion, manipulation, fear, and, you know, that kind of stuff, right? Right. So, yeah, it's a very different way of seeing. Forgive first and then we'll understand. And it's the only way to see, because if you are seeing a mythical problem and you do think you know what it is and you are off to try to fix it, you know, you're not seeing, like you said, you're trying to see in the darkness or give meaning in the meaningless. And it's, it's about drop it. 
abandon the whole abandon ship and turn around forgive it all forgive it all you know ego says you can't do that yes you can <laughs> you must and start asking your right mind holy spirit you know yeah. what what is this what is this for what is the truth here okay um am i on paragraph four you um yeah i think so okay uh, we did read paragraph three, so you must, yeah, you must be at four. They will be with us. Who? Who? Those who took the stand, those who have already done this, the guiltless. Good. Good. Just don't be checking. <laughs> did I get an A? Did I get the answer right? Okay. You got it. A plus, love. <laughs> they will be with us. All who took the stand we take today will gladly offer us all that they learned and every gain they made. So you're saying we're not alone, right? No, no. Okay. Those still uncertain too will join with us and borrowing our certainty will make it stronger still. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. While those as yet unborn will hear the call we heard and answer it when they have come to make their choice again. Can we, we do not... <laughs> Sorry, sis. Yeah. yeah. I remember reading this many, many years ago going, oh yeah, all right. Uh, that's a bit weird. Um, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Is this the right course for me? I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, but it's so beautiful. It's this, this, this big, you know, the interconnectedness of it. Those who seem to be a little further in their trust, you know, join with us as we accept our part. And those who have not yet even been born, you know, will join with us when they come to that place of having to, you know, deciding and choosing again. All the God's certainty just spreads out. Yeah. So this is what dropped in for me, if we can just talk about it for a second, is that um, we won't go in too deeply yet, but, but when a child is born, the child is born with amnesia, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Of its, it, its only purpose, which is its only function, <laughs> which is forgiveness, yeah. And undoing the, the personal self, the human <laughs> aspect, right? right? Yes. So instead, what happens is is that the, the child is raised to be a bigger and better ego as it grows up. Yeah. Okay. So when I read this, while those as yet unborn will hear the call we heard and answer it when they have come to make their choice again, that really warms my heart deeply because what I'm feeling in this is that is that we are helping those souls or those individuals seemingly to remember their purpose their function right how big is that it's just a big one for me i know really well, it's, it's, it is a big one yes thank you but he says, we do not choose but for ourselves today. But making that decision for yourself has holographic implications. Mm -hmm. Will have an effect holographically. So that's why I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. Let's see. Keep going here. Yeah. <laughs> Is it not worth five minutes of your time each hour to be able to accept the happiness which God has given you? Is it not worth five minutes hourly to recognize your special function here? Is it is not five minutes, but a small request to make in terms of gaining a reward so great it has no measure? You have made a thousand losing bargains at the least. Yep, I'm reading you loud and clear, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Here is an offer guaranteeing you your full release from pain of every kind and joy the world does not contain. You can exchange a little of your time 
for peace of mind and certainty of purpose with the promise of complete success. And since time has no meaning, you are being asked for nothing in return for everything. You are being asked for nothing in return for everything. Here is a bargain where you cannot lose and what you gain is limitless indeed. I think he should follow up every lesson with those two paragraphs. <laughs> I think so too. Each hour today, give him your tiny gift of but five minutes. He will give the words you use in practicing today's idea, the deep conviction and the certainty you lack. His words will join with yours and make each repetition of today's idea a total dedication made in faith as perfect and as sure as his in you. His confidence in you will bring the light to all the words you say, and you will go beyond their sound to what they really mean. Today you practice with him as you say, I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. In each five minutes that you spend with him, he will accept your words and give them back to you all bright with faith and confidence so strong and steady, they will light the world with hope and gladness. Do not lose one chance to be the glad receiver of his gifts that you may give them to the world today. Give him the words and he will do the rest. He will enable you to understand your special function. He will open up the way to happiness and peace and trust will be his gifts, his answer to your words. He will respond with all his faith and joy and certainty that what you say is true. And you will have conviction then of him who knows the function that you have on earth as well as heaven. He will be with you each practice period you share with him, exchanging every instant of the time you offer him for timelessness and peace. Throughout the hour, let your time be spent in happy preparation for the next five minutes you will spend again with him. Repeat today's idea while you wait for the glad time to come to you again. Repeat it often and do not forget each time you do so, you have let your mind be readied for the happy time to come. And when the hour goes and he is there once more to spend a little time with you, be thankful and lay down all earthly tasks, all little thoughts and limited ideas, and spend a happy time again with him. Tell him once more that you accept the part that he would have you take and help you fill. And he will make you sure you want this choice, which he has made with you and you with him. We have some, we have a visitor. Hello, this is Dina. <laughs> Hold on a second, Dina. Okay. I'm gonna stop the recording here. <laughs> <laughs> 